Okay, we're live on Facebook. Yes, indeed. I'm going to play a little intro, and then we're going to rock and roll. Who's that? And Matt, how you doing? Oh, yeah, very good. We're looking forward to this. All right, let me put on a little bit of a instrumental thing. And phone's dead again. All right. And that way I can share it out. Let me just find it. Yeah, it's going to be a good conversation. Be right back. On the screen, Let me just get rid of this. And let's see. That's what happens when you don't have your glasses. Vera and Augusti promote to panelist. <laughs> let's see. Has to start. Oh, there you are. Here we are. Hello. Jeffasa. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Oh, we're. Huh? huh? Can, you, can you hear me all right? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Perfectly. Is our right. voice clear? Can you yeah. hear us? Yes, everything's clear. Cl Perfect. Crystal clear. Crystal. Except my vision, I can't see. What did you do with your glasses? I don't know. You don't know. Yeah, I'm having a rough start this morning. Oh, nice. Sounds familiar. Yeah. It seems that I'm uh <laughs> some people sleep walk. It seems like I'm sleep talking. Ah. And uh you know, I guess it all has to come out one way or the other, right? <laughs> it does. You know what I mean? It does. There's no there's nothing to hide, right? No. No, no more hiding. Absolutely not. Everything's got to come out and, you know, just the way it is. Yeah, so it was I'm just... A raw this morning. Why is it every time we get on, I'm always raw? <laughs> 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 like I just got my ass handed to me on a platter by the universe. Seriously? <laughs> huh? Seriously. So, well, yeah, it's, I guess that's just the energy we connect to. It's pure and raw and real, no? And with... <laughs> we might have some music in the background. It looks like there that's is a concert. Perfect. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking <laughs> we had some music. So you guys out in the town square? What's... We're in the town square. What, ta what city are y'all in? We are in, how do you pronounce that even? Pala Frugel. What? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pala Frugel. Pala Frugel. Yeah. It's, Pala a, it's a small Catalan town here close to the coast at the Costa Brava. Yeah. Brava. And uh, yeah, we, we live directly at the moment. We, we live directly at the sea. We were provided with an apartment we can use there for a while. But if we want to have internet, we need to come here into this little city. Yeah, oh, if you want to have internet, you have to go. Yeah. Um, so, 
So everybody wants to know, I mean, Morgan and I talked to you yesterday. Yeah. Obviously. Um, everybody <laughs> wants to know what the hell Vera and Augusta are up to. You know, and, and the reason not because they're, you know, they're not because, because of how you respond to everything that comes your way and what you learn from it. I mean, that's yeah. what I get out of it. Yeah. So, so you guys went to Brazil, came back from Brazil. You went on a, a hike. It looked like you were going to go on a hike. And we talked then. And, um, you've just, and you put out some pretty cool posts, including those pictures of words on New Year's. That says it all, right? <laughs> you know? And uh, so how's it, how's it going? Or whatever you want to talk about. Whatever you want to talk about yeah well how's it going now it's it's going really well it's always going good uh sometimes the the mind defines something as not so good but in the end everything that happens happens for us and um the way i've experienced it, it it's a little bit different we had different dynamics going on but i went really on a on a deep dive uh, really making friends with the darkness <laughs> the last month and um, reuniting everything within me. Um, it was a lot to do with codependency patterns and I'm sure that a lot of people can relate to that, that we've been really triggered in everything where we still had codependency patterns going on and we were not even aware of because usually we think it's about relationships when we yeah. talk about codependency yeah uh, but it's so much more than that because we have codependencies in business relations mm -hmm. um you know that the whole old uh way of trading or defining our worth and our value making ourselves dependent basically of what other people are paying for us or our services or yeah. whatever. But it's also um, codependency with money in general. Yeah. We're making ourselves so dependent on money and resources and give our power away. And Brazil was perfect for us to, the perfect mirror to show us. Um, it's a land or a country with so much resources and yeah. so much money. But at the same time, we realized for, well, we, we just had to say no because it was uh, not, it was not interdependent. It was not an equal, yeah. you know, like, like uh, it's not even an exchange. It was not a sharing. It was still trying to trade and to barter and to, um, yeah, the, the what's in it for me. I give you this, then you give me that. So it was it was going back to being conditional. And for me, this whole deep dive into, into this darkness showed me basically when we reunite all of these aspects within ourselves, the whole magnetic shift yeah. into, into, it's the same polarity really. We still have plus and minus um, yeah. and we still have, of course, magnetism, but it's no longer a duality that takes place. It's a, it's a, it's a whole new quality of sharing and of um, harmony that we did not have in this old, this old game that we were playing, where yeah. we were still two parties or more parties and we were talking about exchange. There needs to be an exchange. Yeah. And then the new um, field, the new dimension that is available now, it has a completely different dynamic because it's harmonizing everything. And the harmony starts within you, yeah. harmonizing these aspects. So this is what, what I can say from what happened with me and why I was really quiet. Also, I didn't feel like sharing anything. I, I really needed to be completely in my, yeah. in my cocoon <laughs> to, for this transformation and i just yeah i, I didn't want to have any distraction in that either i was i was really pulling myself out of of that old reality without having any um, influence into this process it was actually really beautiful although it was very dark too well what i'm getting from it is i'm just tuning in like all over the place yeah is that um, if it's not balanced, whatever it is, a, a relationship or a, a, whatever it is, 
like you said, it's all over the place. But um, if it's not balanced, the energies are forcing, either forcing a balance, you know, it's forcing stuff up. Whatever needs to come up by whoever's involved. And I think um, the important thing is, as I listen to you and think about my own journey, is to stay focused on me. Like, it's not her fault, and it's not his fault, and it's not their fault, and it's not, it's like, here's what's out there. Uh, why isn't this in balance? And if there's something outside of me that's not going to change, or I'm not going to change, or something's not going to happen, then I've got to go find a higher balance somewhere else, basically. Yeah, and it, it really happens automatically now. It, it's yeah. like you're, we're, we're starting a completely new cycle. It's, it's really a new, not only a new decade, we're really entering a new age. And, and we have two different games available now. We have the old game of duality and we have this new game. Um, and you're talking about board games to make it more visible. You have two different board games, an old game and a new game. And the new game is just starting now. And there's not so many players available yet for this new game uh, that follows these completely different dynamics. So the, the old game that we know really well based on duality and with all the, you know, the, the conditional um, behavior that we have, it, it's all based on cause and effect. So if this happens, then that, and that is what we know. And now we're starting a completely new game and it has completely different dynamics. And one thing I know for sure is that cause and effect was deleted from that game. It's this dynamic is not available anymore. And that's the shift from conditional to unconditional. As soon as we don't have cause and effect anymore, we don't have conditions in the old sense anymore. And, and that for me is what's happening at the moment that, you know, what you talked about, either you find higher um, higher um, frequency relationships yeah. uh, or people move up but it's really a it's like a automatic thing that happens some people will go back to the old game and play another cycle in the old game to learn their stuff to yeah. evolve to um, move on uh, and there's others that really are done with this old game and they're starting a completely new one based on this completely new um, setup and, and mainframe. And um, yeah, and then people just drop away because you know, we're repositioned in the games. It, it's nothing personal. It's nothing that makes you just because you play the new game doesn't mean you're more evolved or more advanced or whatever. Yeah. You are just operating on a different frequency that doesn't make it better or worse. It's just different. And uh, that's, so, that's, yeah, it's, it's two, evolution. Uh, yeah, so um, two things. One, well, one, yeah. like th this, this energy, whatever's happening, however you describe it, it's not going to support anything. It's not balanced. Yeah. Truth is balanced. You know what I mean? I mean, it's like, it doesn't matter what it's, and that doesn't mean, I like what you said about it was dark you know and that you and that you went into yourself um because it's not like a um end of the world scenario you know but some of these revelations and things that are coming up they're really coming up to be purged basically and, and you've got to look at it sometimes to purge them uh a lot of people have talked about losing family and friends particularly over this last month particularly over the holidays, which makes sense. And uh, and then I think the other thing that pops up for me is like, so how going through this unique lifestyle over the last few years, and you're going through what you're going through, and I'm sure Augusty was going through what he was going through, whatever he was going through. I know Peter and I seem to be kind of lopsided. Going through one thing, the other one's not getting affected. And, you know, when the other one goes through something, the other one's not getting affected. 
you know. But how did how did y'all navigate that as a couple, you know, whether you're romantic or not? I mean, just as partners, as a couple, was there any projection? Was there long talks? Was there a lot of silence? I mean, was it all of the above? All of the above, no. It was also for us, show, like some codependency patterns we still had. Yeah. Um, some characteristics also in terms of conditioning, what's the, the role of a man and of a woman. Um, like you going into the, I have to make this happen now to protect and to, you know, um, provide for me. Yeah. And me as the, I need to take care of him and I need to, you know, like make it all create the right environment for him so that he can be at peace. And of course that doesn't work anymore because yeah. it's all from the inside out. And we needed to go through these triggers as well to come out in a higher level. And, and we really said to each other, this old cycle also of our connection has ended yeah. and, and it's a new cycle. And we like for a couple of days, we didn't know if it would continue or not. Yeah. But it was clearly an, an ending and we both knew that old way of relating was ending. Yeah, it's like you can't you yeah. can't play the games anymore. Like no. somebody somebody said that on, on oh we had a we had a private conversation with a couple that's been together about five years. They've been doing what you're doing and what we're doing for I think four years. So they've they do a radio show. I've just been going from place to place and they've gone through a lot of the stuff that you and I you guys have gone through, we've gone through, which is everywhere you go, there seems to be a little up uptick in the vibration, at least in the understanding, you know, your field or your whatever you want to call it. But she said, Isn't this a trip? The lady said, Isn't this a trip? You know, because I go off on him, but I can't go off on him anymore can't do his stuff anymore because the game you can't play the games anymore because you both have such a, a high level of awareness that it's not going to work it just doesn't work it's, yeah. it just falls flat you know and i think that's that's part of what you were describing like you know it took you a couple of days i think that's actually very accurate for for that for the relationship for everything really. So, yeah. you know, people need to know that. Because <laughs> yeah. you guys obviously have a, a deep connection. You can look at a picture, your crazy pictures that you take, you know, with your funny faces, or you can look at a picture like New Year's Eve with the little champagne in your hand and the glitter in your eye, and you can see how much you love each other. But at the same time, you're both doing your individual journey. You're both having to respect yourselves. Yeah. And, and I guess it's your the relationship is the same way. It's like, you're, it's like you're running three programs there, or three <laughs> entities, you know? Somebody asked, uh, somebody asked me like a couple of months ago, somebody I really love us, hey, What's the name of the relationship that you have with Vera? I said, ask Vera because she's the one with the words. And she immediately, immediately said, oh, there is no relationship. Um, and just that, <laughs> just that, for the ones who are playing the whole game, it's scary as hell. Yeah. So, um, yeah. and, It's less than two years that I know her, less than two years. And I was completely just, just before her with my twin flame thing and my twin flame and my twin flame. And I just wanted to be with my twin flame until I get my own piece. And I never could imagine that somebody so perfect for the Agusti that was after the twin flame uh, could, could appear. And she appeared from nowhere and I appeared from nowhere. <laughs> And it's exactly, uh, you know, it's a pa partnership in the old way that it's, <laughs> seriously, she had 
everything that I need for my growth and I have everything. And she always told me I am, I am impossible. And this morning I said to her, yeah, that's the reason because you are with me. Because it's the most challenging thing for, for you and you like it and I'm the same. Yeah. There is no there is no day of of not growing together and in silence, growing in silence and growing in conversations. And this yesterday when I was talking with you guys, I was shining and this morning not. And I was sharing with her why not. I was I was not here and now, it was too much in the future. Then I was tired and I was upset and I was suffocating and and she said to me, uh, to my heart, because she has the ability to always talk to my heart. And that when I went too, too much to my mind, she was saying to me exactly what I needed to to listen, not to change me, just because yeah. it was you are there for the other. In the and there is days that I'm shining and days that she's shining, and I'm really glad for what we are doing and for what we have and what we are doing and what we enjoy in the in the moment. And it, the day that she told me, I think it was just before Christmas, she told me, I think that this, this relationship needs to end in this cycle. I was like, what? <laughs> like, it's, she's going to fire me again? And, and no, it's not about that anymore because there is no fear of fire me. It's really like what it means coming to a new cycle. I don't know, but this cycle is done and now it's going to start a new cycle. And, I, and now I can totally start to dive into into in and, and, I, and I like it and it's the same that is going on for the relationship it's the same that it's going on for what we live in this planet right now and in my to make it really 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 simple because yesterday after talking with you I was like drawing how, how to make it simple that board game it's like uh, it is a board game that everybody knows how it works and it's called Monopoly and this whole planet Earth plays the Monopoly. Everybody's playing the Monopoly. Everybody. There is only one, one, one big bunch of, of coins and, and hotels and houses and everybody's playing the greediness and everybody sometimes, everybody sometimes has the charity to your, your friend and you give an hotel before the table to your cousin. And, but it's the Monopoly. So if you want to explain what it's the duality, it's the Monopoly game. And in this same planet, and that's the crazy thing, now there is a new board game available. Yeah. And really few people, I really, it's, it's not that I'm making this, but <laughs> you can see the ones who are starting working the new game because are the ones who lose everything in the old game. In the old Monopoly are the ones who lose everything. Yeah. Who let it go of everything. Because you can let it, let it in if you before don't let it go and then you can start a new game in a it, for me it's like i'm feeling that i'm just a one more figure in the new game that i'm writing down as i'm exploring i'm walking i'm writing down what i'm observing and it's a piece that i know that few more players have more pieces and nobody can see the big picture yet nobody the only thing that you can enjoy what you are doing, if you love what you're doing, you are writing down what you're exploring in the new game, but nobody yet have the, the whole vision of what it's gonna, how it looks like this new board game. And what it's different, it's you as a player, because now we are in the square in a town with, that works with the all Monopoly rules, and you are able to be there to interact with people with a new you, with a new player completely yeah. calm and everything reacts completely different to you because yeah. there is a new you so it's not anymore separating games is it okay there is a new game based on, on, on your frequency and then there is the whole old game and it's yeah. yeah you know how it works because you were playing there we all of us we were playing there yeah. and uh, and the rest of the people they are not others they are people who i was playing all the time the old game the only thing is that different aspects i'm not having fun anymore it's not fun anymore for us to to play the whole game and now we're having fun playing the new one and i think that it's if all this life is a game it's just we're having fun yeah. i just want to add something to the 
to the statement you made, like the people who lost everything are the ones that are starting the new game. And losing everything doesn't necessarily mean losing everything, it means losing all the attachments to everything. Yeah. So being in this, no matter if it's people or, or places or money pets. or things or whatever, pets, our dogs are still in Brazil. That was another thing we needed to let go of. For now, they're, I'm sure they're going to come back at some point. But it's this being okay with nothing and, and not only being okay, but relaxing into this nothing. And at the same time, when you do that, you come to this place of everything, of all the possibilities that are in this emptiness that feels very uncomfortable for most people. But the more you, you relax into it, the more you see and you feel that it's actually everything. And that's this zero point experience um, that a lot of people talk about is when, yeah. when you more and more relax into the, the zero point. And that's the new, that's the new game is you always start at the zero point and, and every moment is zero point and you create from that zero point and you manifest from that zero point. There is no more, you know, you don't need a big bank account and tons of money to make something happen because everything that is necessary is created in the moment. And yeah. this is the big mind twist that that we all have. That's that's that one thing that's new in the new game. And the other thing is like you already said, it's not a single player game anymore. It's a multiplayer game. And and there is we're just like, seeing the first people are finding each other, the first people who have let go of the single player game and trying to make their own little income with what they do, but but really seeing you no know, there's a whole new way when we start sharing our essence, when we start putting our talents and abilities and our creativity together, we can create so much more than what we would ever be able to do alone with our own little business or our own little um, circle, where, trading circle where, where we're drawing. And uh, that's, a, that's a, gonna be happening a lot more this year. I can feel that there's gonna be a lot more breakdowns and breakthroughs. Yeah, I, I think that's, uh... That's a good point, and, and I think it goes back to well, what we were saying earlier about the the universe. We'll just call it the universal energy, or the new the new game board energy. Is it's it's because of the kind of energy that it is. Like like you said, you start at the zero point. Anything that is not true is going to break down. It's going to break down, and but the things like, for instance. The old paradigm of I need to make money. Uh, here's my here's my kingdom. Here's what I own, and here's what I'm going to charge. And you know this is mine. You know, and you know how I feel about copyrights and trademarks and all that bullshit. You know, it's just not real. But anyway, well, it it is in the, the old game. In the old it game, is, yeah, it is but in I mean, the old game. The new, but the yeah. new game, it, it, it's kind of weird because I picture you. When you talk about the game boards yeah. and you talk about your relationship and what you told Augusti in December. So I see these two little kids walking through the old game. They fall, they find each other. They fall in love. They're playing by these rules. They, they look over the fence and they see this other world, right? And they're like, oh, wow. And you jump over the fence and you're in the new game and it's all new. And it's all like precious and beautiful and fair and just and loving and magic. But the old, the two that came off the other game board are no longer those two people, but there's still this bond, which is really cool because you're almost like walking through the world together now, creating together. And it is a world that is not singular. It is two or more, right? That's what you're saying. Yeah. So I think that the, it only makes sense and if I look at Sology, like never pulling the trigger on charging, not doing anything with the website yet, because I know it's all tied together, but I can kind of see now how the universal energy will support what I've been seeing, which is it is a co-op. It's a group effort. It's a, it's a group collaboration, and you can't have too many in the group. You know, 
know, it's actually the more the merrier, because the more powerful it gets. I think that's what's being supported, and that's what you're talking about. Yeah, and at the same time, it's also like a cleansing, or like a, it's it's like a filter in between these two dimensions. There, there is no more way to mix it. You can't yeah. mix the old with the new. It, it will always fall back into the old pattern of cause and effect of conditional um, activities of conditional behavior. Yeah. But what's happening is because we all know how the old game works. And we all already feel the dynamics of the new game. And so what's happening is the, the filter works in between those dimensions. Nobody's going to come from the old dimension in the new dimension to play the old game there. It's impossible. And at the same time, the new game will not take place in the old game. That's what we experienced in Brazil. It's not working. It just leads to a shortcut, basically, between the two frequencies. It's so like you need the you need old, the transformer in the, between. The old game that wants the translates the, back and forth. Old game <laughs> wants all the beautiful fruits and the kind of living of the new game, but it's not possible. And yeah. it's you can't so have easy. one without the other. It's, there is players that yeah. don't have fucking idea like we are that only are interested in the new. There is players who are all interested in the old game. And you can see by the way that they walk, the way that they live, if they are interested in the new game or in the old game. The people that wants that talks about the new ways or the, the, the new rules or the new quantum mechanics, but they having a life completely based on the Monopoly game, I'm not interested on that. The yeah. people who wants to build a new game using the old rules doesn't apply. Mm. It's not possible to build a new with the old way. It's not possible. Ah, and then how it works the, the, the new, I don't know. I don't have the answer. Yeah. And, and I know that I just can I just can tell you what I am experiencing. Yeah. And it's not everything so beauty and so fantastic. Yeah. Because again, the new game plays on the all new infrastructure. Yeah. yeah, but but in the all infrastructure. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's not everything flowers here. There is still crime and Trump with drones yeah. and politicians in prison. It's a lot of stuff going on. The only thing is that you know now that us that that thing is exactly cause effect of the all game yeah. monopoly people who want to live in the if they have free will to live in the in this monopoly game they are having the cause and effect of the old game yeah if you try to shift the old game to the new oh i want to play in the new game with all my things of the new no no no, no. no well, that's well. two different games and and two different you and i can look at myself in two years uh <laughs> looking, two years ago? To, to, looking to the Augusti of two years ago. <laughs> and yeah. yes, uh, mm. uh, it's one day you say that you neither can carry Jesus through the black hole. And it's like if, if my dog's not going to come with, with us, it's okay. And fast forward, <laughs> it's a completely new different thing. The essence goes through the, the black hole. Yeah. The purity of that. And then you can see what, because you are, you are more pure, you, your, your ego had a fucking cleanse, boom, 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 a big washing machine. And then you can approach the, what, the things that you wanted to do always in a completely different way. Yeah. And there is nothing to convince, nothing to teach, nothing to explain yet, because it's not attractive to, to go to the new game living from the heart it, she, she was a few days ago it's i think posting on on, on facebook that i'm just living a, it's it's not fair that i'm living a life from my heart and what is manifest there it's people living through the mind and with the heart closed it's not fair but it's it's what it is in that game i was walking with my heart closed in the monopoly game i was too mm. Wow. Yeah, it's not, that's the thing. It's kind of this situation that was, you know, when they were looking for volunteers to discover 
the new world, America, yeah. South and North America. It's like this, you leave everything behind and all you have is this feeling of there might be a new way of living. Yeah. But you don't take anything with you. Right. And of course, that's not attractive. That is only attractive for people who have this pioneer thing inside. And again, it's not about saying or judging or, you know, you're not worthy of it. Everyone is worthy of living this new life. But we can't do the process for the other aspects of ourselves. We can't carry anyone over this bridge or through this door. What we can do is inspire. And not for many people yet, it's inspiring to have nothing and live this lifestyle the way we are living it, the way you guys are living it and some other people. Like moment to moment, trusting you're just taken care of. No matter what, you can't fuck up. Yeah. But it's just the scariest thing to the mind. And one thing is talking about it and, you know, letting go and having no attachments. But the other thing is actually experiencing it and walking mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, what's funny too is because two years ago, he's, Augusta, you mentioned two years ago. So two years ago, I saw this, uh, oh, well, today I saw this video that I did two years ago. And I was, I had more yeah. than had come one time for 10 weeks. And I was, I was a piece of work, but I was still my thing. Anyway, I was trying to get her back. I didn't have any money. And I was in a blizzard in uh, New York. And I got kicked out of a hotel in a blizzard, right? Wow. I had no money. <laughs> And I just went out and I did a video, you know, and I just said, fuck it, you know, I'm, I'm not giving up or whatever. But my point is in the old game, as an individual, I could do that. I mean, it wasn't, I could do that, you know, in the new game, the new game is not about the individual. It's not. No. It's not. So in the on one hand, I could say, hey, I could do this new game by myself. And it would be easier than doing it like you were talking about. You want to uh, make a space for Augusti so he can thrive. He wants to, to go to work so he can protect you. That goes away. Right. But there's this element of this new couple or new collaboration that actually it's not about whether it's easier or or, or harder to do as an individual or as a couple because the individual doesn't even exist anymore in this new yeah. game. It's about two or more. The individual journey is over. We, we yeah. solved the riddle and we found enough alignment yeah. to step into the new board game, but it's yeah. a new game. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not like- but it's, you know, you know. You know, the, the paradox of this, what you're saying is, though, you need to let go of the codependency first. Yeah. Because codependency also means it's not individual. You're attaching your yourself to others so they can solve it for you or give you, you know, like give you something that you feel you cannot create on your own. So this whole journey first takes you to the individuality and you master first to be independent and completely free and doing it on your own and and mastering it on your own before you are actually able to go into this new form not codependency but interdependency of yeah. a healthy organism where you appreciate yeah. everyone else as an aspect of the whole of you the uh, john mcintosh would call it the self yeah yeah we're all aspects of this yeah and the difference to until now the the spiritual path led you up to the energetic point of feeling this oneness but what's now coming is the embodiment of it experiencing this physically what we have not done before so it doesn't stop anymore at the enlightenment and now i can see everyone is one and we're all together mm -hmm. it's going a step further into embodying it and experiencing it physically together but of course, and that was the filter I was talking about, 
codependency has no place in the new. It's not codependency, it's a health, a healthy interdependence where everyone chips in with what you've got. And it doesn't matter if it's resources or wisdom or talent or whatever you're mm. good at and you love doing. And then it becomes a healthy organism. Yeah. All that's the super organism humanity that we're heading into. But of course, it's going to grow organically. And there's always these first cells, the first, the pioneers of the organism who are starting to reconfigure in this new way. And then more and more people organically join in. It's not a linear process either. I, mm. I will add that there is the monopoly game. Everybody, including us, uh, play the survival because nobody wants to be outside of the game. Right. Nobody wants to be kicked out that, oh, I lose everything, okay? So in the new game, the, <laughs> the clear thing that is not there is the survival. If you are in a survival way, yeah. is that it's inside you yeah. and it's a fear inside you and it's really fucking uh, a mastery until the moment. And I understand that there's a lot of people that need help for that. They needed help for that until you need less uh, uh, little wells on the bike that until your last cell understand that you exactly manifest in front of you not trying to manifest anything eh? it's what is inside you of self-love and self-value it's what is gonna gonna be there mm -hmm. then you can be only in the here and now if you are in two, in a week thinking on what you're gonna what are we gonna eat or where how we're gonna move or where are we gonna sleep in a week ago that's still in a week from now. It's still uh, uh, survival, yeah. and, and what it's not in the new game, it's survival anymore. And the second thing, it's for me, it's not just uh, what you bring to the table, because the the first part, the gate, the bridge between the two boards, or, or the or the last um, casillas, the last um, uh, steps of of the old game. It's to find your essence, to find your real value. Yeah. Everybody talks about self-love, but it's important to find your self-value, what you are good at to rediscover yourself. Not yeah. what you know what how what to do and what your abilities are. No, no. What is what you love to do? And then in the new world where you are a kid and an artist, it's when you just do what you love like a kid. She says something really beautiful yesterday to me that it's kids build a castle on the beach knowing that the water can come and yeah. disappear they do it just for the joy to do it together yeah it's the joy because they build that and it's not and obviously you, you you want to build things to last but it's not anymore for safety for security it's go back to that essence of playing that it's so necessary enjoying. in the here in the now you do the yeah. things here in the now but for that your abilities as a CEO, as a CFO, as a marketing, as a social media, doesn't care at all. Because kids, I never seen kids together playing with trains, talking about marketing or talking about uh, financial strategies. Mm -hmm. They play trains. And it's non-kid, doesn't matter. I never see a kid with a room full of trains and all the rails having fun alone. And you share. And if you look right now, the kids on the PlayStation that everybody says that they are alone, they're alone, and the, the PlayStation and the, this video game just brought them to the be individual. That's not true. What they are playing, all of them today, it's multiplayer games. Yeah. Multiplayer day, games right. with people. It's what they love. That's Cooperate. Right. Cooperate. So everybody that is good doing things alone for survival to make a game inside the old game that's not yeah. i feel that that's not but i'm not focusing anymore on the monopoly i know how it works i'm here i still pay for the water and i'm paying for the internet and for the food so i know yeah. because there is not food falling from the sky yet mm. and i don't know how it's gonna go work and i don't know that's really difficult for how long these these two boards when the when the new board is going to be ready for how long the two boards they gonna coexist if everybody from one board gonna go to the next one i don't know when i don't care i don't know 
I, but what I'm getting from y'all is I go, I go back to those two little kids that found the new board and they go back to the old neighborhood and they have this glow all around them. And these people are like, I want, I want some of that, but you can't bring the new board to the people and you can't take the people to the new board. Exactly. It's just a board that you found that runs on community and collaboration and magic. And it's, it's, it's like, I, and I've been saying this not because I'm smart, but I've been saying for a couple of years, like maybe the biggest challenge is getting used to it. You know, it's there. Maybe the biggest challenge is just yeah. getting used to it and actually going, yeah. you know, and, and, and I think and allowing it. It's yeah. And I think you bring up some good points too. I just want to restate something because I think it's a really good point. And that's about this codependency frequency that the old game runs on, which really is, really is an individual thing. Because it's the individual that's given up the power and it's the individual that's creating these patterns. And, and okay, so we all know that, but it's another thing to, to re-examine what that is. Well, we know it's, if I do this, you give me that. We know that part of it. What, what I think we don't know is all the adjustments that we made in our lifetimes to appease the codependent frequency. Yeah. I'm not going to say anything to her because I don't want to upset her. I'm going to go ahead and do this because I don't want to upset him. I'm going to go along with this because I would want them to like me. Those are the things I think that are starting to come unraveled. Now. And I think it's a good, it's a good time to, to, to tell ourselves again, whatever you're going through, I'm going through. And it's a motherfucker. Yeah. It's not easy. It it's a motherfucker at times. They're not lasting as long. We've talked about it, <laughs> but these revelations come in. Yeah. Especially if you have a partner, you know, and, 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 uh, and thank God, you know, the conversations can be had and they're more balanced and they're more balanced and there's more compassion and more understanding because that's really going to be necessary as people discover the new board game because they're going to walk onto the new board. And I would, if I walk onto the new board and I see the two of you walking around, I'm going to say, hey, how do we do this? How do we play this game? And you're going to go, <laughs> we're gonna find out <laughs> yeah, that's right you don't we don't know how to play the game that's how that's why it is the game it is because there are no rules everything is open source and anyway yeah. i just wanted to make that point that you brought up about the codependent patterns and behaviors that i think are coming up to be purged and i'm speaking from experience yeah. 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 they do oh. it, it and it's actually it's it's the best thing that can happen to you from a soul level, but it's yeah. the the most um, horrifying thing from an ego point of view. Yes, it is. But at the, at the same time, it's this it's really bringing heaven down to earth. It's like merging the metaphysical with the physical world, the spiritual with the earthly world. So many, and and that's that's part of this new thing we're no longer separating we we are what we feel on the energetic level in oneness and we're all one we're gonna manifest this together in the physical yeah the sharing that there is no more possessions there is no mine and yours possessions meaning either this is my knowledge or this is my house or this is really? my there there is none that's there right. is none. All of this, the, 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 what created the codependence in the first place, are human inventions mm -hmm. that that created separation. And we've had it, you know, first it was religions and gods, and then it was money that was introduced, and then it was possessions, and it was fame, and all of these things that created the separation and the comparison. It, it All of this is deleted in the yeah, new game. That's right. It's that's not right. deleted because it's not there. It's not there. It's yeah, not there. It, it's deleted right. for and, the. And and it's yeah. not about deleting the all. The all no, is gonna no, no. play. is gonna continue. The all is gonna continue in a funny roller I'm coaster. I'm just like speaking in source code 
programming language that well, doesn't exist in the yeah. new in yeah. the new algorithm. It's I not think there. It's, I think it's a good analogy what Augusti said. If if you anyone that you know, well, if you're old as, as I am, remember the um, the video games, the, the the video arcades. You would go in years and years ago, and they would have like Pac Man. And, you know, they would have, and they were all singular games. You could maybe have a partner, but pretty much they were all singular games. And now, like you said, everyone's gay into the gaming, these kids, and their energy is all collaboration. It's all free, and it's all free flow. It's all a free flow thing too. So that, that's, uh, yeah, that's very different. In fact, yeah, that's and that's crazy different. Like it's, it's crazy different. And <laughs> I could not uh, arrive what I am. That I like what I am. Doesn't matter what it is. Without my ex-wife, without my twin flame, without her, and there is going to be more of people. And it's appreciating. It's like in the montaigneing. You know, you 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 can't conquer the Everest by yourself. Mm. So, there is a whole team, and including the guys who are arriving to the top of the Everest by themselves, mm. there is a whole team preparing that. So it's understanding that it's a co-creation. A Star Wars, it was a time of, yeah, Luke Skywalker, we saw one guy destroying the whole the whole Death Star, but it was a whole team preparing and, and shooting the rest, but we're just focusing in that time on that, oh, he's the hero. Look at the last Star Wars. It's a completely co-creation to solve. Nobody can. I watched can't. it. I yeah. watched it. And it's that's what, yeah. It's, it's a union of everything. It's a union of everything. It's a surrender. It's a forgiveness. It's a, oh my God. It's like. It's basically showing the end of the old game. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's been, yeah, it's been an experience to watch that movie. So, really uh, Marita, Marita uh, Shashan asked a question. Yeah. I, I, don't know how, I don't know how I don't know how I can read this. <laughs> I don't have my glasses, but <laughs> wait, let me see if I can no, I got find it. it. You no, got, I it? got it? Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm amazed that I can read it, which tells me that I'm wow. supposed to read it. Anyway, like your mom. she said <laughs> she says, You both are such way showers far ahead, and it will take time to ground here. What are you doing in the in-between time? Now, I don't know why I had to ask that question, but I, that, that was the question. What yeah. are you doing in the in-between time? I guess the way I see that is the stuff that you were talking about at the beginning, what Morgan and I experienced too, and, and that is you're actually over on the new board and either things from the old board come and visit you or you go visit the old board. I don't know how it works. And you're there for a little bit and then you go back and you're there so, for a bit and you go back <laughs> yeah so in my case after collecting the pieces of myself that went through the black hole uh i'm exploring what is the new board one of the games of the new board because probably it's going to be more than one that is what we call absolutia that it's our utopia i'm exploring that I'm compiling the maps of what I explore, the charts of what I explore, the diagrams of how it works, of, of everything, and putting in an atlas. It's the atlas of what I'm exploring, mm -hmm. and we're gonna put there to available for the ones who are gonna land to the new board. She is compiling herself, and she's writing down things from the whole past, the whole her old website that the new hair is seeing in a different eyes and now she's compiling that in a book for the old world for the old world for the old world yeah. so th yeah. this is also that's a, um, that's a good that's a good point i mean that's actually let me just make sure i understand this yeah let me interrupt you but there's actually a service needed or uh, uh you know a space to be filled by those who've walked into the new board, who have some uh, anecdotes and stories and whatever to share with the old game, because people need yeah. that. Yeah, that's that's weird. I'm not. Yeah, but that's so, actually true. Yeah. 
So it, that's, that's for me also the part of, of being multidimensional, mm. means being able to move between the boards. What doesn't, what doesn't mean multidimensional is mixing the two dimensions. That doesn't work. I can't sell the new world in the old way. In or I way can't build the new world with the, the old The new way. wall is not going to ground in the old wall. But what I can do is I can leave like breadcrumbs in the old world. Yeah. Not because I feel I have to save anyone or I have to do it for other people, but because I love sharing it because it's my passion. Yeah. It's my joy. I know that it's infected. Yeah. Yeah. The energy is infected. So I can do that with, with books. I can do that with art. I can do that with, um, um, well, I don't know, talking consulting, talking, talking here. Yeah. I can leave these breadcrumbs. They're like the red pills that people can pick up and swallow if they want to. But it's not me trying to coach them or trying to make them fit for <laughs> for the new world. It's more like these mirrors for everyone. Yeah. You you can you can leave behind, and of course you can you can create an income with that as well. Yeah, as long as you stay. But it's not for you know, survival. It's not exactly. because I feel like shit. I have to somehow make my living yeah. because. When you lose that fear of death and the fear of I'm I might not be able to eat something tomorrow, well, it doesn't matter anymore because you just do what yeah. you love. You're here and, and now. And here's the thing about the experience of of getting to the to the new board and and then expressing it and sharing it. You can't really express it with the community in the new board because they don't even need it. First of all. Because you still can't tell them anything about their experience in the new board, because it it happens in the moment, basically. So yeah. it's not like you know, it'd be like if as Augusty puts on some music, and I just start freestyling, you know, versus Augusty sends me some music and I practice for two hours on doing a song to perfection. That's the old board. Yes. The old board is never going to be good you know that it's never going to be and the new board is the spontaneity is the magic you know it is the power you know yeah. if i bring to the table if it's a christmas day or a new year's party or this night today that is saturday if we are eating all together and i bring monopoly to the table everybody knows the rules everybody knows how to play if i tell you what we are playing right now it's oh this is like fucking jumanji Nobody sure. knows. We just opened the box and we are still receiving the first monkey runnies and rhinoceros. And still, we don't know what to do. We close the door. It's, we are just writing down what we experience. We don't know the whole rules. We don't know that. And it's a little bit like Fantasia, like in the never ending story. It's like a limitless world because it's created by our creativity. At the end, it's not our creativity. And the end is the unity consciousness building that using us as an instrument. The moment that you know that you are source and an instrument here, a player, explorer, and not everybody's explorer. And I'm sorry, the game is not ready yet to start playing. The ones who are only players, it's not time. It's time for the explorers, developers, coders, builders, uh, storytellers to prepare this new, uh, new game. And then, yeah, maybe it's going to be a moment Then a big influx of people is going to go through a magic interface, through one game to another, they're going to get the quest. But right now, there is already a quest in this planet, and it's really beautiful. That is the quest to your heart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, you know, that's taking some getting used to. Because, yeah. Yeah. because it's, it's, well, the old board, the, the vehicle was the mind, and the new board, the vehicle is the heart. So if you have the mind, for instance, has conversations, the heart yeah. just has intentions, you know, so it's like, it's actually very yeah. cool, but it's just weird and different, you know. It is. Somebody, and, some, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. No, no. It, it's just, it, that's the thing. The, the mind in the new board game is just completely lost. It, and, and it has to surrender yeah. and follow the heart because there's no way you can read this software with the mind. Yeah. with the old mind the mind will get used to it 
and it will shift into something else. But the old conditioned mind that is conditioned with duality is just lost there. Yeah. And you have to get lost with the mind. You actually have to lose your mind. And coming into a place where all the questions, the how questions end, how are you going to do this? How is this going to work? And how are you going to survive? And how are you going to make your living? And how, how the, the mind is so full of how questions while the heart is just saying, I know. Yeah. I just know. I don't have to know the how because I know it's perfect. And and yeah, that that's that's the filter again. Yeah. It, you don't start the new game and until you have let go of all these mind forms or, or thought forms that, that is, are coming up. That for is you. what creates attachments. Yeah. Including to your kids. Yeah. Including what? To your kids, it's the yeah. chat, one of the chat from Bernation. I just saw it's that. Like, and I was, oh, what I about the people? Yeah, I just saw that. And I was, <laughs> you know, it's, yeah, yeah. I, I don't have kids. I can tell for myself and I really, uh, it was a point of missing my dogs. And I know that for people it's a completely different thing. Yeah. But it's, and there's everybody, everybody in the spiritual thing understand the soul and the self-responsibility of every soul in this game. Kids yeah. have soul too, and kids yeah. have their own game too, and kids, and if I choose to have to go through all that stuff as a kid of my parents, your kids choose you, and your kids are gonna have this thing. And uh, still you want to play the game, you running with your kid under your arm. It is not how it works. No. And we, we felt one big case of uh, a woman that, that, that went through uh, cancer and survived the cancer and she, she read everything available about the spiritual but she was not able to to surpass or to go through the attachment of the not being there for her kids right and she's not there anymore well her, her biggest fear uh yeah, I mean, it, it's tough. Um, it is tough because the, the programming um, about what's a good mother and what's a good father in the old game is goes really deep. And like accepting your kids as equal souls on this journey, although they are physically still small kids is important and you you can be a space holder and you can you know with without an attachment you can be the one that is a guide for them in terms of when they ask or when there's pain or when they need something but it's you you can't carry them no. through either and no. and that's the big difficulty that we have with this that whole is, program of yeah. family of and it's all codependency programs. exactly that's what it's I was the same say. thing it's the same thing that's what and I was how do you how do you shift into interdependency because the new game these questions don't even arise because your kids grow exist. up in a community <laughs> your kids yeah. are part of a community your yeah. kids are going to be taken care of yeah from like in many ways from many people and, and when you are thinking what my kids are gonna uh, eat in a year so sorry you are in a survival mode and it's inside yourself if you are thinking how you're gonna pay the university for your kids you are in a survival so yeah. it's if you are how it's not your heart not hard it's your mind yeah and it's right. easy that's right. But I can understand how, how difficult that is with children. I mean, we we only experienced it with the dogs, but they are like kids for you. And also with, with them, we needed to let go of all the codependency. But patterns. you know what? The, but you know what? The what we call pets, because I think they're souls too. I mean, I don't yes. think it's even right to call them pets, but they're the same energy as the children. Now I've I've had six children. Uh, I had a yeah. divorce, uh, basically a divorce the second time, a separation, but she ended up dying. So that's another thing that the kids had to deal with. But yeah. my point is that those, those uh, let's just say younger um, souls or whatever, they're very resilient. 
they're more resilient, you know, and a lot of us can relate to divorces and breakups with children. And we're always worried about the children. And the fact is, if the adults would just worry about themselves, the children are going to be, they're going to be okay. Look at children in trauma. What do they do? They go outside and play. They do, you know? Yeah. I mean, so uh, I think they're, they're probably, if we want to talk about how, how do people on the old board get to the new board? I think the children are going to help them get there. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's what's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, in a lot of ways. They're going to be like, you we're, know, we're going to learn. We're going to learn how to cooperate they, they, again and how to play together. Yeah. Children live by the heart. Yeah. Ask a children if he's worried about he's going to how he's going to pay the university. He's not. He's not. <laughs> Because they are on the heart, they are, they are here and now. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's it's a it's a huge shift. <laughs> nothing that happens overnight. Yeah, and nothing that no we one. want to change yeah. in anybody. It's like. No. Just different perspectives. Well, I mean, it's a it's a it's. The the comment was it was a very good comment and a good question. And, that, and then fortunately, the raw truth is that the new game is, you can't take any of the old game with you to the new game. And, and, and when we say, I can do this, but I have this handicap, or I have children, or I have no money, or I have this or that, we're, we're at the mercy and the slavery yeah, the you're in the, in, in the little yeah. cycle of trying to survive and trying to make your living. And in, in a sense... The new game doesn't have that. No, in a sense, it's, yeah. an, ex it's an excuse, in a sense. And, 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 and I know that's a harsh word, but the fact is, if you want to go to the new board game, you can go to the new board game. <laughs> but don't make excuses while you're not there. No one's yeah. going to take you there. It's not going to come pick you up in a limo, you know? Uh, nothing can hold you back. It's just a choice. And if you don't want to go, that's okay. Yeah. Stay and play in the old game. That's no problem. I and, mean, and for a lot of people, it's okay to continue playing the Monopoly. Yeah. And thanks God. <laughs> because I will not imagine that suddenly one morning, imagine that one morning we get up and the old game is over and there is the new game and every, it's, everybody's going to run a, like chicken without heads. It's that's like right. not how the universe works. No. The universe works organically and lets it grow organically. And yeah, yeah. it's all Free perfect. Flow. Free all flow. perfect. Exactly. And that's really important what you said. It's when you, when you continue playing the old game, it's perfect too. Yeah. It, it's not that somebody is saying, hey, you're not good enough for the new game. That's not the point. It might be you. It's it might an, be you it's an it evolution. Yourself. Yeah. And that's the old game. That's the old game. Is it's yeah. the whole self talk and you know, and I and I like we said at the you were talking about at the beginning of the show, I think that this is that new ground that the pioneers are breaking through is what they said a minute ago. What do you do in the in between time? Is we we're still stepping into the new game. And there's still remnants of the old game. I don't know if the old game comes to see you or if you have a thought in your head or you go visit the old game, but it happens. And, it, and it's, it's going to lessen, obviously, but we still have to work through that stuff. And that's, that's yeah. a little bit aggravating. <laughs> yeah. A little and, bit. And we're not building a bubble that is just for a couple of, yeah. you know, preferred souls to, to be there. It, yeah. It's just preparing the ground so that's more a, people can 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 come that's and, a very um, good analogy well yeah, that's a very good analogy because if you now if i look back at the old game what i see is a bunch of bubbles yeah. a bunch of bubbles oh, and, what, you, and what do we do in the old you, game what do we do you we, can't imagine well and we we burst our own bubble by by trying to you know contain it and you know protect it and you know color it and whatever and we end up holding on to something that's not permanent and, and, and the bubbles get busted and bursted but you're right there is no bubble 
There are no oh. bubbles in the new game. It's just one big open source, open air, open universe, open energy kind of thing. Yeah, limitless. And the door is open for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> it's just not, there is no limo coming to pick you up and bring no. you over. <laughs> no. Nothing money can buy. And it's, but there is, right now it's a moment where it's a lot of new bubbles are coming, like people buying islands and creating a new models of society there, but then they create a new crypto, cryptocurrency and then they want to change. Uh, it's, it's really, for me, it's really useful to see yeah. when there is a still trying to make the new game working inside the old game or when there is a pure new game. And then it's, we, we had the pleasure to be invited in one of the little kingdoms that try to be the best possible where, place to live in the planet in the old game. Yeah. And I can tell you that the, the king of that kingdom is not happy right now anymore with that because he said that it's not sustainable. Yeah, it's not working. It's not working. And, yeah. and we're going to see that a lot, yeah. that people come to this conclusion at some point they're tired yeah. of trying to do it alone. Well, they're building a bubble in the old game and it doesn't matter how big the bubble is. It's <laughs> just a bigger <laughs> burst if, they, if it's, you know? Yeah. yeah the bubble first... is a bubble. I... Right. right. Yeah. I, I think, uh, I think, I don't know if we talked about this yesterday because I'm getting confused. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Uh, it's here I... and now. <laughs> we had we had uh, Lawrence Wendell was on a couple shows back. Yeah, he's the one that gave up his license, and you know he was driving around downtown Denver with a car that said "free" on it, so people didn't have to pay taxes, and he went to jail many times, and he really took it to the extreme. Yeah. He doesn't carry money. He won't, he won't hold money. Um, he's just doing it in a good way. But um, he was talking about. You know, he was talking about the new game, really. Yeah. And, and the, as, as a pioneer, you know, he was talking about that. And uh, he was talking about how, and I said, well, where's Lawrence at? You know, where's Todd at? Where's Todd at? The, the aspect. Yeah. He said he, well, he's in the limo, but he's in the back seat just chilling out. We got this, you know, like the other parts of me got this and he's now able to relax and chill out and get out of the way and enjoy yourself. But we, yeah. the old game is always up our ass, you know, and if it's not uh, coming in the form of, from our perception that it's something else or someone else, it's our own self, which it is ultimately anyway, because of all that, this new, the new game, part of getting used to it, I think for me anyway, is getting used to the fact that the chatter's going away as I work with the chatter to to discover uh, patterns I didn't know or to purge stuff out, you know, but that seems to be supported too, you know? Yeah, everything is supported and everything is perfect and everyone is exactly where they need to be right now. Sure. It's, it's, yeah. It, there is nothing to blame or judge or, or, or it, has to, to it has to be this way. It has to be this way. Yeah. yeah. This is also, it's not a sales show for the new uh, game. It, it's just the observation, what's happening. Yeah. And for us, it's not about trying to convince people to do that or to you know, change them or none of it. It's well, you know what's good about it? You were talking about the book, right? And, and, you know, and we made the comment about, well, you know, that's where else could you put the book? You have to put it in the old game because in the new game. But, well, nobody's uh, going to need it there. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. But the nice thing about the nice thing about having these conversations is it, it does actually it's for any it's for both games, really. It's just it's just what it is. It's really the new game frequency because it's spontaneous and unrehearsed and natural and honest and raw, uh, which actually uh, has a very powerful effect in the old game. 
that frequency has a very powerful yeah. effect, whether it's a person or an expression or whatever. Yeah, not only effect, but it's really an infect. It's infect. It, it's infecting people because they they feel they feel something's different with you. They feel your open heart, and we've had it so many times, and I'm sure so many people out there listening can confirm the same thing. When you speak from your heart, people open their heart. They share your their deepest secrets with you and their deepest pain and their deepest sorrow because they feel safe with you yeah and uh, yeah and that's the infection yeah. but you don't do you don't do that to save anyone or to help anyone you just do it because naturally it happens it's in a natural flow my surname is not jedi my surname is not jedi but the moment that you are able to be authentic fearless and speak from your heart including the most uh the other the most uh, the most hated people hated or men grumpy in, people grumpy people you you go there as a child looking at the heart of the others and 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 it, it, they, when you're they, yeah be, because it, that's being multidimensional it's be, your frequency it's like make them remember who they are yeah it's it's kind of you have the effect on people like a, a little kid has when they smile you know, yeah. everyone, everyone is opening up when a little kid smiles at you. And that's exactly this, this frequency that we return to is the one of the innocent kid just being open and wanting yeah. to play. And yeah. that aligns with more people on the same frequency. So if somebody comes to me right now with the frequency of, of doing business, first that if, if it comes to me, it's because it's still inside myself, obviously. but. So it's not gonna happen, I suppose. And it's not. It's you only can attract the same frequency that you are that you are right now. And to be in a frequency that no, no, my frequency right now is not to survive. My frequency right now is to play and to have joy and to enjoy this beautiful planet together with the people who are, who dare to live from their heart. Uh, yeah. That's all. And. It's, so it's beyond beyond being attached to kids. It's, it's and she said it before. You really detach, including to be alive. So you don't have any fear to to die tomorrow, to not get up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> yeah. That's the thing that seems to be impossible. Um, that you're just okay with, and if that's it today, that's fine too. Yeah, I've had a blast. Yeah. Well, that's right. Um, yeah. I, I always say to myself, like, you know, just like check myself and I'll, and if I connect, you know, I'll walk outside and connect and I'll be like, is there anything you would rather be doing right now? And if the answer has been no for a long time, it's like, I'm digging this, you know, with yes. everything that's everything that it is, I'm digging it. Um, I don't know. That's that's the truth, yeah. though. <laughs> it is. I don't know it what is. that means. <laughs> and it's just it, that's the thing. It's so crazy when you know you're so scared of losing everything in yeah. this old game, and yeah. then it happens, and you realize nothing happens. Yeah. You're you're always okay. There is always something coming in unexpectedly. There's always the next step when you're moving from moment to moment. It's that's incredible. Right. It is. And that's the is. thing with the big bank account. You don't need it anymore because it somehow always works out. Well, it's that. Uh, I think another distinction is the uh, in the old game, the glass is half full. And the new, or you know what I mean, half empty. Yeah. And, and then the other one is half full. Um, and, it, and that's really true. But that's how the old game was set up was... It, it, was that whole, you know, it's never good enough, uh, you know. Yeah. Which is a lack of gratitude. It's a lack of gratitude. The old game is a lack of gratitude. Yeah. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. And the separation game. Yeah. The whole illusion of separation. Yeah. Loneliness. <laughs> and thinking that that abundance is throw it's the ability to throw away food. It's yeah. like people just and yeah. In the, in the new game, 
the glass contains the exactly water that you need for your thirsty today. For your thirst of today. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's all in the moment. No more nor less. And uh, we're we're more and more all tuning into that. And it's it's difficult. really it's well easy, it's difficult. Yeah. It it is very difficult until it's not anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so we're we're to now. <laughs> well, we're gonna stay here for a while. To the cinema. But now we're going to the yeah, we're gonna here go to the now. movies. Here now. Hey, we're gonna go, movie. yeah. We're, we're gonna, gonna go, go to, to the movies, movies now, <laughs> and we're gonna walk back later to the beach. How far are you from? Oh, uh, uh, it's about it's about forty minutes walking, yeah. something like that. Yeah. So there is no car right now, or um, no mobility. No mobility, but, but we, we don't need it right now. It's perfect because we can enjoy <laughs> amazing thoughts. Yes. We yeah. we do not see each other. The whole yeah. it's time no, it's, for it's, a different we talk. are exactly in a place that we need. It's very quiet at the beach. We have the water, we have a lot of sun. If we need something, we can come here to this town to you know, like get, do some shopping. Or that's very cool. Groceries. Man. That's, that's and a it's, blessing. That's like yeah, that it's, cabin. That's like that cabin that we, yeah, got we've got live. everything that's needed right now in terms Rock, of course. tools and, and what we need from here and now it's everything. Yeah. And we know if, if something else comes and we need, you know, there's another impulse and we need to do something else. It will always be provided in the moment. Yeah. yeah. What is needed. Yeah. And, uh, that's the big shift that you're, <laughs> you're no longer thinking in lack. Yeah. You, well, you, yeah. it happens still sometimes, eh? but it's, um, it's really it's the least game. But it's 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 appreciating what you have and seeing this yeah. is all I need right now. I yeah. I you know it, I don't need more at it, the moment. In my case, I have to say that I I caught caught myself caught caught myself today. Yeah. This morning I was not happy. And the reason is because I don't know why I was wanting to play already with more people, already with more tools, already with... And then she was like, oh, you are back to the list again, uh, to making lists again. Can you enjoy here now? Do you have all the tools available for do whatever you have to do? I say yes. So you can't go 10 steps forward. It's yeah. not possible. Yeah. Because then you make lists. And then you feel luck. Yeah, that's right. That, and it's, it's that's I know that's right. That's that, and I you know years ago, early in my career, I would make I was very goal oriented. And I created this massive template of a options, open, goal oriented plan. It wasn't structured like most of them, and I thought I was so cool, but I can't <laughs> I can't do that anymore. No. The other thing that's going away too is i'm watching this video from two years ago the one i told you about in the blizzard and i'm saying i've had it with this shit. I'm telling the universe what the fuck is going on i'm busting my ass out here i'm doing the i'm being the pioneer you know and uh i'm not doing that anymore no I'm not you're not asking that. for a medal anymore no and i'm not <laughs> yeah i'm not exactly yeah exactly that's lack yeah. that's that's the, but 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 i've noticed i'm not having those conversations i haven't had those kind yeah i don't know if we've had that conversation since hawaii you know yeah and uh yeah so that's that's yeah. something I just figured out and i'm thankful yeah. for it but, yeah. so that's good yeah i think i think we're in the new game um and, and, and I think we've been in the new game, but but it's been such a complicated transition. We didn't always know if we were in the new game. We didn't know if we were bullshitting ourselves or, or full of shit, you yeah. know, or whatever the case is. But I think... Uh, I, my feeling is what's happening now, and now energetically, we've been in the new game for a while, but now yeah. we're pulling the whole physical body into the new game. Yeah. Like really walking it. Yeah in every aspect not a little bit it's like full 
fully embodied. And, so it's, it's yeah. don't coach me, please. Show me what you work. Yes. So it's, if somebody is selling you a method to visit the new earth, it's not, I'm going to follow you. Walk and I'm going to go after you. But show me that you are exploring the jungle, that you are opening the jungle, that you are living in, the, in that way. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. I'm doing the monopoly. I'm doing channelings here and charging money. I'm doing... No, no. Show me. It's like, how is the new earth? Show me. I don't know. Mm. I'm just exploring my little things and... I really want to see more pioneers. Yeah. They're already there. We're yeah. finding each other more and I more. Think, yeah. I think that's Beautiful. true. Yeah. I think that I think it's a really it's obviously it's a much bigger area and there's people there. There's a lot fewer people per capita, so to speak, and the on the uh, you know what I mean? So I I think I agree with you. I think we are finding each other. And we're finding ourselves, which is kind of weird because <laughs> you're, you're finding, you're, you have to find yourself to get out of the old game. But as you get into the new board, you're actually finding yourself, well, every step of the way. You're, you're finding yeah. out what you're not and, and you're having to be okay with that. You're having to be okay that, with that with other people, you know, as well. Yeah. I mean, I had, I evidently purged my ass off last night uh, according to Morgan, and I remember a little bit of it. Now, I didn't recognize it as a purge until right before I came in to do this show, and my body said to me, we're purging, which is kind of a relief, but it also, yeah. it's, also it's a little bit, you know, it's a, it may, leaves you a little bit tender and raw as well. It does. So it's time. still, which I guess that's okay. Yeah, it is. Okay. I'd rather be going through that and be walking on the new board than going through that curled up in a fetal position <laughs> on the old board or out in the middle of a blizzard asking the universe, why aren't you giving me what I'm worth? You know what I mean? I know. <laughs> right? So. Yes. Everybody knows. Everybody knows what is love in the Monopoly game, in the old world. It's when you give love to the others. It's the only way to measure because you see it in the others that you are giving your love. I was giving myself and I was giving my love. In the new game, it's about self-love. And then it, there is the value. In the old game, value is big account properties that in the new game, value is your essence transformed in something Yeah. necessary for the new board the creativity yeah. it's it's the people and there's no more price tags you are of that value and you are of that value you are a ceo so you're gonna get more than the person cleaning the toilet it's like really seeing everyone <laughs> for cleaning. who they are not for what they are useful for and that's the new value yeah well but of course you you can only value that when you value yourself yeah. Without a price tag and without a title and without a role. Yeah. 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 So it's going to be an interesting year. <laughs> well, I, I, I sure uh, I'm, set, I'm setting the intentions that we will be in the physical presence of one another, yes. the four of us. Absolutely. This year. This year. Yeah. That's yeah, I, I feel that too, very strongly. I feel in general, we're going to come together a lot more physically for co-creation now. Yeah, I think so. Because the energetic part is done and now it's really about I agree. it. So. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah I that's... want to know how, how you hug, guy. <laughs> what? I want... Yeah, we want to feel a real hug. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it'll be a tight one, a big one. Yes. But... um. Yeah, I think that's the, the thing too about this the new game is um, the understanding that um, it things are created energetically first. And if you created it energetically, you don't got anything to worry about <laughs> because you've created it. And now you can enjoy the unfoldment of it, you know? So that's, exactly. that's another thing that's getting 
uh, that we're getting used to, but people like you or Morgan have been talking about it for years. But up here is one thing. You know, when you're when your understandings and your feet are on the old board and you're looking at this what is wisdom, but where's the proof? And I think the proof has come home now. You know, the proof is actually yeah. occurring. It's it's seeing it mirrored in the physical. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's the reunion yeah. of all of your aspects. Yes. And in the and the for me like this, I had this the other day, a couple of days ago, and I thought, oh my God, that is actually a physical representation of my feminine. I was actually, you know, I've heard that before, and Morgan has said yeah. it to me before, but I actually was laying there going, that's actually her. I mean, that's me. That is, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, wow, you know. Yeah, that happened right yeah. there a couple of nights ago. Beautiful. Well, you guys, uh, what are you guys going to go see? Do you know? What's the name of this? Knives movie? Out. Knives Out. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, it's a, it's a comedy. It's a comedy. It's no. it's the one that they that they have here in town. So it's <laughs> not that we have a huge original, choice. No, it's, yeah. it's, it's the original version, so it's perfect. And they mm. have it in English, so that's really good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Well, all right. I'll just uh, keep my attention set and I need to start practicing on my Spanish again so I can talk to Augusti. Yes. And the women can't understand what we're saying when we're talking Spanish. Well, <laughs> I can. I can. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We'll have to learn a different language. All right. Thanks yeah, a lot. Maybe you should try Arabic or Indonesian <laughs> or something. <laughs> I, I'll just do sign. Well, you know what? This is this is the new board game. It, you can't hide anything anyway, even if you try. No, exactly, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, y'all have fun. Thank you. Thanks. You too. Bye. Peace out. Bye bye.